everybody. It's Linda G. And I'm here with our wonderful friend, Mel. And Hi, Team Mel. Hi everybody. Aloha. Aloha. How are you? I'm fine. I'm uh, going to cook for the kids tonight, BBQ. Happy it's Memorial Day, if you can call it happy. It's always funny how they'll say happy something. And, and I mean, that'd be like saying happy 9-11 day. Yeah, right. Uh, you know, I I forgot. Um, I was supposed to do a show tonight with Shira. I just texted her, but um, um, Gary reminded me we're going to my cousin's tonight at four thirty. So she's cooking. Yeah, they're going to have a barbecue. So yesterday, the weather here today it's overcast, but yesterday we had horrific storms. Oh my God! It yeah, was like, I I watched the Weather Channel all night. It was Armageddon, and I, and you'll be joining us, Kevin and I, for prayers. We're yes. going to pray for all those people. How many lives? 19 lives lost total? It was terrible. It was horrible. Here, it was torrential rains and wind. The poor dog was hiding in the closet and hiding under the end table. She doesn't like storms. Then it, wow. then it got sunny. And then uh, I went with my cousin for dinner. And on the way there, we got hit in this horrific storm. And it was like, wow. So it was bad. Yeah. It was well, really it's God speaking. God speaking. I I think whatever he was trying to tell us, I hope I got the message. <laughs> it's like, don't mess with my uh, ecosystem. There you go. Well, that's true. That is true. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. Uh, uh, you had Regina's uh, funeral. And by the way, uh, prayers to Regina's family. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. She's in a really good place. Yeah, I saw her actually. Uh, surrounded by white and gold and all these angels and then sue had a vision of her uh with the ancestral spirits did uh that's she... before she died yeah yeah it was incredible she saw they the ancestors were sitting in a circle and they were telling her that regina was going to be coming there right she told me about it it was really uh... apparently um she got to tell that of course she didn't want to tell him before she died but she got to tell her husband after well, thank you for the for the videos. Linda sent me videos and they were chanting in Comanche. That was amazing. The chanting yeah. was Oh so my God. And at the funeral, they just, you know, the thing is with the natives, we they like to bury you fast. They don't like you hanging around. I think well, uh the Jewish religion is like that too. You you get them in the ground ASAP. Right. But the Jewish religion, they don't open the, the casket. Yeah. Now what about Muslims? That I don't know. Because didn't didn't uh, they have to bury uh, Princess Diana Doty? Didn't they have to bury him real fast, based yeah. on the religion? No, I think it's before sundown or something. I forget. I don't. Yeah. But um, anyway, but yeah. um, so condolences to the family. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's start it. Thank you guys for all your questions, and since you're my guest today, I'll let you start first, Mel. Okay. So Lynn says, uh, will the AOC be successful in getting the Senate to open investigations into Alito? These never-ending investigations really aren't justice when the actions are blatantly obvious. Well, I agree with that statement. Um, Absolutely. Um, well, he's got the right to hang a flag, you know, and he's got the right to say what he wants to say, but yet... For him to support, he cannot show. He cannot be showing that right. he. Right. Like it'd be like having the president of the United States, which we had in Trump, that says, "I don't like African Americans," and and talk about it all the time. You have to show, and if you're going to be a judge, you have to push that aside. Just like Judge Marchand, I'm sure he can't stand Trump, but he has to push his prejudices aside and work with the law. For him to hang that flag in support of the insurrection, I think, is just nonsense. Um, well, they're just telling him you can still be a justice, but you can't vote on the insurrection. You were pro-insurrection. You've made that perfectly clear. Well, he should have recused himself. But you know what I do see coming? I do see legislation coming where if there's a conflict of interest, it's going to say that those justices must recuse themselves. It'll be law. Oh, that that'll is. be law. That if you coming. show any kind of, yeah, it'll be law. And also, um, I read on this, that's why I'm still familiar with what I said. 
But I'm sorry, but I'm almost feeling like it's not going to be till the second season of Biden that some stuff will really get done. That's what I see, too. Uh, people are still nervous about the polls and the swing states, and it's still too early to get nervous about that. I keep trying to reassure people. Yeah, I know. But isn't it interesting that, um, you know, B Biden better go down to Texas and stuff and talk to those people who just lost their home. Biden really needs to get more vocal uh, about the things he's done. You know, I I wouldn't make it a referendum against Trump. I would make it the things that he's going to do for the country and the economy and stuff like that. You know, this this election is not a shoe in In order for us to win, people must get out and vote. They must. Yes. So my guides tell me that. Oh, wasn't it wonderful about the libertarians? booing the heck out of him wasn't that exciting i watched that but i was having a hard time because my hearing is so bad were they booing or were they clapping and saying yay i couldn't really hear they were booing oh, they were and booing. they were they were uh all in at uh, once saying um lock him up and um there was another thing that they were saying that he was a, a liar or something so we know he's not going to get the libertarian vote <laughs> No, he wasn't. He didn't even apply for it. They wow. said he was furious. I don't know what he's mad about. Or they said, fine, if you want to lose, don't vote for me. Oh, yeah, I saw that part of it. And also, um, oh, I'm the best thing to the libertarians. Yeah, he's the best thing to everybody, so he says. But, um, you know, I don't know much about libertarianism. But, um, but they've been saying he hasn't been posting on his true social. So you think he got hurt? I do. I do. Absolutely. Um, and that's what's going to happen to a lot of other groups. You know, um, the dictator is um, is losing his reign and I see him falling hard and heavy. Okay. Um, I'm not real patient about things, but somebody you, predicted the 25th of May was going to be real tough on on Trump. I don't know who predicted it. I remember someone mentioned it to me and that 25th of May was that that thing. So that must have been it. Well, that was Kevin Chandler. Somebody said it. I forget. Was it yeah. Arthur? Somebody, I forgot who said it, but anyway. <laughs> okay. Well, there will be legal action against the Satan and Abbott for transporting immigrants. Yes, absolutely. I see that. I oh. see hearings, but it's like down the road, I think. Abbott is soon out of office or soon to be out of office. They're going to find stuff on the Satan where he took that hurricane money and, and kept it for himself. Yeah, and the Satan can't run again. So I think once he's out of office, I see investigations there as well. Yep. Go ahead. What you got? Okay. Uh, this is a missing person. Okay. I haven't heard about it, but I'll read it anyway. Okay. Uh it says, missing person, Christina is a warm and caring elder care nurse who went missing March 26. She left for work as normal from her home in Vancouver, Washington, but never arrived at her job at a care center in Oregon. Our community is distraught about her disappearance of this wonderful and caring nurse. Would you please help us and please find her? A grateful friend from Sedona. Um. The only way that I take a case like this is unless the What's family... What's her last name? I can't spell it. You can't spell it? Well, I don't know how to pronounce it. So No, it's okay, but can you spell it? Well, she's got to spell A-S-E. Oh. Chris, I, I... Anyway. Uh, if the family calls me in, I'll be able to help them at no charge all right yeah um, i i you know if if the police call me in then i work with them um i really haven't looked at the case but i'll have to look at it to see what i'm going to come up with on, on it I, i'm just feeling that maybe there's a little bit of i'm, I'm having something a, very suspicious i think it was an intent to rob but it's very suspicious I'm having a hard time feeling a life force coming from yeah. her. And so I just don't see a life force. And then I see brown and green swirls, which tells me she's near water. But I'll have to look further into it. Okay. So you'll handle that. 
Yes. Okay, so now... I just, gotta be careful. I just have to be careful what I say publicly because sometimes when you work on a case, there's key facts that the police withhold. And so, you know, um, you don't want to let go of any key facts and you certainly don't want to cause any angst for the family. Exactly. But, um, I'll be happy to help, just not on YouTube. <laughs> There you go. Uh, thread of hope. Will the demands from Senate and congressional Dems to investigate and remove Alito from upcoming cases get any consider consideration from Roberts? I'm sorry, read that again. Will Roberts consider, you know, telling Alito, you can't do this or you can't do that? I think a lot of these justices are to the point, except for three of them, that think they're really above the law and that they don't, like this. and they don't have to follow the rules. But there's going to be more that'll come out of, against about Alito, and Alito needs to shut his mouth because already, well, we're thinking about revisiting gay marriage and all this. Well, what he's doing, and when they do that, and Clarence Thomas, it puts ideas out there for the states to discriminate against somebody, oh, we're not gonna do gay marriage. And then when it goes to the Supreme Court, it gives them recourse to overturn it. Yeah. So what he's doing is completely wrong. Yeah. And, and I see there are some justices that are hopping mad about it, but other ones are at least four or five justices, but other ones are like, yeah, we're right behind him. So I see Clarence Thomas off the court I see Alito off the court, and I see a third one. I see a cup. I see a one or two of them getting impeached, Linda. I think I think they're going to have that Senate hearing. I see Kavanaugh before them. I see Neil Gorsuch before them. Good. You Yay. said that you wouldn't touch precedent, and then you turned Roe versus Wade. Right. They're going to have to explain themselves, and they can't. Well, because it's going to come out that dark money, especially from the ultra Christian nationalists, excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, excuse me, Linda, I forgot to turn my phone off. <laughs> oh, I didn't even hear it. I could hear it through my hearing aids. Uh, anyway, yeah, I see it coming out that some dark money from the, from the ultra right wing Christian nationalist group, some of those groups funded some of those Supreme Court decisions, if you will. Okay. Okay. Um, it's, some ministers have already come out and talked about it, actually. I'm going to take a look at Alito. Hold on. At what? I'm going to take a look at Alito. Yeah, me too. You What's know, he's going to happen watch, with Alito. He's got to watch his health. You know what I just saw? I saw him like in a maze, like a rat stuck in a maze. And he's trying to figure out a way to get around it. Um. Wow. I pulled, let's see here. Give me a second. Um, Roberts doesn't have a spine. Roberts is giving advice to him, but he also can't force him not to do something. I pulled the Hierophant, which would indicate him. But look, I got the hanged man. So... He, you know, might have think he was seeing things correctly, but it was upside down. Here's a struggle for him. He's going to have legal struggles. And I think you're right in front of Congress. Um, judgment will rule against him. He's going to be out. Listen, they do something stupid, like try to vote against gay marriage or whatever. He, That's when Biden will turn around and say, I'm packing the court. Well, also with Loving versus Virginia, but because that, that allowed you know, interracial marriage. And Clarence Thomas is married to a Caucasian, but yet he talks about all these other decisions he wants to overturn, like gay marriage and abortion, this and that. But he doesn't say anything about loving versus Virginia, does he? No. no. <laughs> He's a hypocrite. But I see Roberts, I mean, I see Alito in trouble. And I got a funny feeling there's been judges behind the scenes that are talking to at least two or three of those justices saying, you really need to recuse yourself from some of these cases. Yeah, well, he's making the whole Supreme Court is numbers are like they got 2%. Well, hello. You know, and Donald, let me tell you, they are really hoping Trump is going to get in there, but he's not. That you're right, they are. But, you know, I ask, 
uh, what's gonna what's what are we gonna see about the Supreme Court as a nation? The illusion, delusion, and confusion, and the truth is gonna come out. You know, I'm asking my guides if people will have their faith, if you will, in the Supreme Court reinstated, and the answer comes back not with this court. Okay. I see three justices and two facing impeachment. And I see new justices coming. So the court goes back to center. And at some point, Roe v. Wade is upheld. And I see gay marriage codified. So that's what I'm looking at. Let me tell you, the new administration that's coming in. I had a, a show with Sterling the other day. And, you know, I wanted Beto to win so bad against Ted Cruz. And he didn't. And, and and Sterling called it. He said, no, uh, Beto's not going to win. I was I was really hoping Sterling would be wrong. But you know, Sterling sees that new woman winning against Beto. And he also sees Ron Johnson losing. So I'm telling you, it's going to be Armageddon. It's going to be the blue wave. And when that happens, this is when, this is when a lot of this stuff will be able to be dealt with. I think that... Uh, Senator uh, Sheldon will be able to work on the Citizens United. I think within three years, they're going to take strip so much power from these people. And from the NRA. Yeah. Well, the NRA is broke. I don't know why they act like it still means something. Uh, I see Johnson gone. I see Boebert gone. At some point, Marjorie Taylor Greene under investigation and indictment. Uh, there's a lot. Uh, I just find that amazing that there's still people that no matter what Trump does, they, they've they drunk the Kool-Aid. But more and more is going to come out about him, about the court. I mean, everything that Trump tainted, not everything, but a big portion of all that is going to come out. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to tell you something. I think that Trump will be found guilty. He will. I see it too. He'll turn around and appeal it right away, but it's still... It's well, he, just the it, fact that he was found guilty by jurors. Of course, it, it's, it's Biden in his court. Well, even if it's a hung jury in a retrial, he's going to be found guilty regardless. But yeah. I keep seeing another trial coming before the election. I, I think it's a January 6th. I, it could be because I see something coming before the election. It's just he's going to get hit, hit. And Andre, who's been very good about plugging in when Trump starts going down. I mean, it's coming. We're going into June. It's terrible June and July. Right. Yep. Around the, the, the Republican convention, it's really bad for Trump. It's going to be a you-know-what show, that's for sure. Okay, I, give me a question. I got a funny feeling he's going to get booed at, at more stuff and people just walking out and things like that. Well, just at that New Jersey thing. Was it New Jersey? Where did he just appear at? In a park? No, not New Jersey. It was someplace near New York. The Bronx. And people were there. Like I told everybody, listen, if I was at a park in the Bronx and Trump showed up, I love a clown show. I'd be happy to stand there for a minute. But Me did too. you see the mass exodus of everybody leaving? Right. As soon as he started talking? I would be like, hey, pay me to show up. And then I could just... Clap when everybody left. But his his people, his son Eric, they're so funny. They show pictures of a uh, Rod Stewart concert in Brazil and try to act like that's the crowd that came out for him. They even showed um, the Secret Service going down the street in New York, and everybody's waving a long stre streak of people. And Eric tried to claim they were all out there for the dad. There wasn't a flag or a hat in the place. It was for Biden. Wow. But they no, just straight up lie. My light bulb just went on when they used that footage to say people went to a Trump rally and it's a footage of something else. They could be sued for that and they're going to be. Oh, okay. I mean, that's, I, I don't know the legalities of it, but I'm sure that that would open up a lawsuit. I see Trump being sued for a lot more stuff. And I oh, see, I don't see him making it. I just don't see him making and, it. And I see his buildings being confiscated. You know, a lot of them. Uh, well, uh, the judge just confiscated uh, a building for Alex Jones, so $2.8 million, to make sure these poor parents that he lied about get compensated. I've been seeing Trump's name taking off Trump Tower here in Chicago. 
And I just, you know, I'm sure my guides are correct, but what do you see? Do you see that name? Oh, being... this name's been being taken off on a lot of places. Oh, good. I uh, hope they, I hope they take it. had a place in Las Vegas, that Trump Tower, which I could see from my hotel room. That thing is closed. And, you know, Scotland is furious at him. The world is furious at him. Scotland wants their land back and they don't want him in after anything to do. Well, they're going to get it back. My light bulb just went on and said, psychic uh, spirit says they're going to get that land back. Yeah, because I don't know what all, I don't think he's paying taxes and stuff. You don't mess with the Scots, that's for sure. Oh, no, no, no. And he's German. He don't got no, maybe, no, his mother was Scottish. He's a disgrace to the Germans. Oh, I know. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, Larry said, the weather patterns remind me of the late 90s. That said, North Carolina is going to be battered if true. Will Blackbeard's treasure be unearthed after a big one? I just heard no. No, I don't see any treasures being unearthed. <laughs> North Carolina is uh, going to get hit. Yeah, well, it's size uh, hurricane. Chicago's going to get hit with some pretty inclement weather. And I see a lot more hurricanes coming this year up through the Gulf Coast, the East Coast, uh, even some in the South Pacific. But they're going to be intense storms. How about all these tornadoes? Are we getting a reprieve or is it still going? It's going to get worse. Okay. It's going to get worse. I mean, this climate change is real. You know, I went to Gary's reunion in, in Nebraska City, and his classmates were wonderful. I wondered, we were probably the only gay couple there when, you know, I was wondering, how's it going to work? Second. You're gay? Uh, oh, yeah, I just came out. Oh, my God, I didn't know that. <laughs> Your crush on me won't work. My plumbing doesn't work that way. <laughs> so go what had what happened at the reunion? Oh, anyway, um... You know, it was really cool. Gary would say, this is my husband. Or they had, you know, Mel, Gary's partner or whatever. It was like a little name tag. Um, and people were really cool with it. You know, there was one lady that kind of, you know, and then she was, I said, wow, the weather here is kind of chilly for this time of year. It was like 69. And I said, you know, in Chicago in February, it was like 70 degrees. I said, this climate change. Oh, no, climate change. That No, that's just cycles. I said, ma'am, I don't know if you've been outside lately, but you need to step outside. And she shut up. Yeah. So I, was, I wasn't going to get in that kind of thing. There. Yeah. But for the most part, I mean, everybody was wonderful. And I got the best recipe for potato salad. It's the best potato salad. I've you better ever send it to me. I'm going to, and the lady wrote it down. She was incredible. I go, this potato salad is the best. I was going to tell you, I almost felt while you were talking, of course, I always go to food. It feels like <laughs> it all, it feels like the food was really good. Oh, the food was incredible. They had, uh, it was all home cooked. So, you know, they had potato salad and pork uh, and chicken, you know, barbecued and, um, the potato salad. I mean, you know, all kinds of charcuterie, all kinds of neat stuff. So what, uh, uh, what is, is there any ingredient that you noticed in her potato salad? It's just the way that she did it. You know, um, yeah, I, I just, it was really, really good. Uh, did she I, do mustard and mayonnaise or do you remember? Oh, uh, wait, if I can find, if I can find oh, the, when you find it, send, take a picture of it and send it to me. It's kind of a Swedish, sweet, sweet taste. Sweet. Okay. She used sweet potato. Uh, uh, no, but it's got like uh, I think it's the salad dressing. She used salad dressing, oh. and uh, it's got a little paprika, some sugar, uh, not much sugar, but it's. I mean, I just can't. I, you know, my German friends used to make a, a potato salad that they put a little sugar, stuff like that in it, and a little vinegar, white vinegar. When you come here, I will make you German potato salad. You better. I better. <laughs> As soon as you see me, I want the bowl with a spoon. There you go. Anyway. Okay, uh, give me a question. I say to Donald Trump, er ist eine Schande. Er ist eine Schande. That means he's a disgrace in German. He's a dis eine Schande. He's a disgrace to the Germans. How's that grab you? There you go. All right. So. Uh, oh, look and what someone sent me. Oh, I love it. 
Um, and his kilt and everything. Does the kilt lift up? That's what I, I tried. Trust me, it didn't, it didn't move forward. I've got a David with an olive leaf on the front. When you take it off, it's like, uh, put the olive leaf back on. There you go. What was Michelangelo thinking? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'll take one in a size bigger. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Auntie Vaughn says, yay, Auntie Mel and lovely Linda. When the big orange baby departs this dimension, will Junior or someone else try to take his place as cult leader? I think he's going to lose, okay? And I think one of the, maybe it's Ivanka that tries to act like she might throw her head in, but I see her having to bow out ASAP. It's almost like, get that nonsense out of here. Yeah, I I, I think once Trump is gone, I think that's it. Yeah, um, it'd be like Hitler's sister deciding she's going to become, you know, no. No. And it'll be a long, long, long time, if ever, before we see another character uh, like Trump. I'm yeah. talking about a character with no moral compass and somebody who just is such a goof, you know. Uh, but how he can get people to drink the Kool-Aid. Oh, I know. So but listen, uh, I got this question that... People are saying that he's not going to even make it to the to the to the November fourth or November eighth. I just want to take a look once and for all. I I see him there. I do. Let me look. Let me look for on my side. But you see him there. I do. I see a lot of health challenges coming. A lot me. of health challenges. But I'm I, you know I've never seen him croaking between now. And now, this is my card for him, the King of Wands, and he's reversed. Here's the cutting him out, getting him rid of him. Here's the all kinds of health issues. He he may make it, but he's barely making it. I think he's going to lose bigly. I don't think it's going to be close. Uh, I pulled a three of hearts, or three of swords, I'm sorry, which is a disappointment. So if people think that he's not going to be there. I see him there, but look. This is a death card. That's, 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 what, well, that's near death. Right. And then I got know, the same card. The ten of swords. Like, swords. There you go. Like getting oh, he's got some health issues coming up. Yeah, his health it does not look good to me. Um you know, I've been I think that that's why Nikki Haley threw her hat in. Because she's hoping something may happen. Well, what I see with Nikki Haley is a lot of the people, rather than they're just going to write her name in. And no, well, they are very mad at her for saying she was going to vote for Trump. Um, I see a lot of write in votes. A, that, whole, a whole lot of people went to the Biden campaign to talk to them to see if they would maybe possibly go for Biden. But th th if you heard the interviews that are taking place now, it's I'm terrible. Sorry. If right. you heard the interviews taking place right now with the people that were behind her, they can hardly believe it. Because uh, the Biden campaign, by the way, did a montage of all the things she said about President Trump. Like anybody as ugly as him going towards vets shouldn't even be given a driver's license. All the stuff she said about Trump that you can't trust him in anything. And then turn around and say she's going to vote for him. Well, they, they're disillusioned. They're backing out from underneath her. They're not all running to Trump. No. They're not, not vote. I still see, though, right in, right in votes with her name on it. But, um, yeah, for her to endorse Trump, that was a no-no. I think Donald, Trump will, Donald, Donald Duck will get more votes than Trump or Nikki Haley. Oh, I think you're probably right. Uh, I pulled another card for Trump with the question you were asking, and I got the four of clubs, which the four of clubs is illness. Um, it might look like he's being successful because he's ahead in some of the polls right now, but it but that'll change. Um, and this prognosticates illness. And then I pulled a six of diamonds, which is a lion. And that means a sudden shock 
from bad news to Donald Trump regarding his health and the guilty verdict. And then I pulled an ace of spades, which actually means people turning against him. A lot. Yeah, of people... I saw the Republicans jumping ship. Yeah, they will. They will. So, uh, I mean, these cards look terrible for him. <laughs> he just, I'm telling you, and Andre, he when he looks at his chart, it's bad. He just, he's saying it's just really bad. And by the way, Biden's chart looks good for the, in November, and, and Kamala is even better. Um, I pulled a seven of diamonds just now for Biden when you said that. And this means the best of luck. It means it's just really the one of the best cards in the regular deck. Um, it means good fortune. Uh, anything that's trying to discredit him won't work. Yeah. So uh, Biden's cards look pretty good, actually. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see here. Uh, Terry Dougherty says, how do you see the general election in the UK uh, turning out. Will King Charles do a state visit over to the U.S. for the 250th anniversary of the de Declaration of Independence in 2026? No. I see the Labor Party uh, winning in Great Britain. I see it more, I see more Liberal Party taking power. Is that, uh, who's in charge now? I think the Conservatives. Yeah, I see more liberal, but I don't see King Charles coming because of his health. I don't think, well, this is going to sound terrible. He might not even be alive then. Ooh. Because I keep seeing another coronation soon. Uh, oh, so that's Prince William. There's another coronation coming soon. And that's when I think, who's going to take the throne? William, right? William. But I uh, see, I see. Princess Kate is really sick. She's really having a tough time. There now, there's all these conspiracies that she's dead and all that. None of that's true. That's she's not true. Really working hard to make sure. And I even see maybe she's traveling someplace else to another place for top-notch medical treatment. I think my feeling is uh, King Charles. He's well, I hope I'm wrong, but he's not gonna be around long. I don't wish him harm, but I feel like he's got pancreatic cancer. Yeah, that's what I was feeling. And I think that uh, I see another coronation soon. And if that's the case, I don't think King Charles visiting here, no, but the next king will. Okay. Now, so so he I think he just takes a, a downturn. All of a sudden things go, could be around Christmas. And right. I'm also feeling that he advocates to his son because he knows he can't go on. So before he formally dead, I mean, believe it or not, I, I don't think he'll hold on like his mother. No. I think he'll say, son, you need to take over. Yeah, there's another coronation. I see it within, you know, uh, it could be 2025 even. Yeah. Um, and people are saying, well, if something happens to Kate, well, uh, William still be king? And the answer is yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, so he's going to be king no matter what, unless he just abdicates. But I don't. Everybody see said Notre Dame was predicted Harry would be the king, but I, you know, I've read, I've read uh, Nostradamus, and some of those predictions you could kind of weave however you want. I mean, some of the like stuff the you Bible, the Bible people weave it all the time. Correct. So. Anyway. That's okay. a good question, though. That's a very good question. You're, very you're good question. <laughs> These people gave us some great questions. They did. Oh, well, this is interesting. Linda says, hello, Linda and Mel. Thank you for all your shows. Do you see four stimulus for Social Security for us retirees? Do I say what? A fourth stimulus. You mean more? Or uh, maybe an extra Social Security check. Yes, I do, right before the election. I feel like Biden is talking to somebody now. And you know, that's how he did it the last time. Both me and you'll get a check. And he'll do it too. Yeah. Trump won't like it, but Trump, oh, the election's rigged, blah, blah, blah. I guess the question is, people are asking, is there going to be more violence after the election? Because when Trump doesn't win, we know the shenanigans he's going to try. But he'll I don't try. 
but I don't think it's going to be as bad as January the 6th. It's not going to be as bad. People don't want to go to jail. And this speaker won't pull any shenanigans either. Well, the vice president will be there, so. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not going to be able to. It's out of his hands. And, you know, I wouldn't doubt if Jeffries ends up being speaker before the full election. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. Maybe well, I... Johnson comes up with a, a plan once again via Biden about the monies, uh, a budget. And it makes everybody so mad they vote to oust him. So well, pretty, this time the Democrats will vote to oust Johnson. Well, it's pretty obvious that um, that Johnson is now in Trump's hip pocket because he showed up at the trial. And when he showed up at the trial, I'm like, wait a minute. By him showing up there, he was questioning our whole justice institution in this country. And it's like, no, a Speaker of the House should not do that. But if Marjorie Taylor Greene gets mad at him again for something and she throws his hat in, I see the Democrats voting to, to get him out. And oh, then she... what happens is somebody's going to toss Jeffrey's name in, well, the Democrats, and they'll get enough votes from the other side to let Jeffries be Speaker. Oh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, I'm telling you, well, uh, make some kind of motion or whatever she has to do to oust Johnson again. This is not over. <laughs> no, I know. I'll tell you, I, there's somebody took a picture at the airport and she was standing there with her suitcase looking straight ahead, Marjorie Taylor Green, and that beautiful look she gives. And the woman said, oh, butch body, such something, bleach blonde, butch body. And Marjorie Taylor Green just gave this ugly look and she said oh how's it feel how's it feel and she didn't say one word i would have said marjorie you're you know your blonde hair color is so beautiful but for the life of me i cannot figure out why do you dye the roots black <laughs> hey. would... but you know can i tell you something though even though we're laughing about this I'm going to tell you something. It's so weird. She wanted to make that comment about her false eyelashes and she's calling everybody silicone. Hello, has she walked in Mar-a-Lago recently? It's, it's, if you had a silicone alert, you would be beeping all the time. Nothing <laughs> but silicone. Anyway, but you know, can you believe this, you guys? She's really hurt by this. I could feel it. I could feel she's, she may talk like F you and all this, but actually, as a human being, she's really hurt. Well, it's okay for her to dish it out, but when it comes to taking it, she certainly has a problem with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so are you at the airport? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> what, okay. are you, what are you having for food tonight? I don't know. My cousin's cooking. Listen, you better send me that potato salad because I'm going to make potato salad today. You just got me in a mood for potato salad. The thing is, you have to let it, you have to let it uh, in the refrigerator overnight. I don't care. I'll eat it right there in the bowl, fresh, hot. I as don't soon, care. As soon as Nobody I'm done. Nobody can with... tell me to leave overnight. Nobody can. <laughs> as soon as we're done, I'll find it. I put it somewhere okay. for keeping. <laughs> but okay. um, uh, I do feel that she's, Marjorie Taylor Greene's going downhill. Yes, she is. Okay, it's your turn. No, isn't no. I just asked a question. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, hello, Mel and Linda. Will Ron Johnson from Wisconsin be exposed for his Russian shenanigans? Absolutely, and he's not going to win either. No. And then for his part in the fake electors, the answer is yes. Yes. And will he be reelected? No. no. Absolutely. No, don't forget Jack Smith, tick tock, tick tock. Jack right. Smith is waiting. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And 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 the him telling uh Aileen, the judge Aileen, uh, he's telling her, you know, you gotta get Trump, stifle him from saying this stuff, and she'll deny it, and then he'll take it to the higher court. Yep, yep. I see her off that case, by the way. She's she's gonna be off. Uh, and I see her at some point people are going to come forward law clerks and what have you and say that that 
they know that she was influenced by Trump's attorneys and the decisions she made. So if she's smart, she'll resign from the bench. Uh, if not, she's going to be impeached, I'm telling you. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, all right. Your turn. Um, will the planes with illegal immigrants take off from the UK to Rwanda in July? I didn't know that happened. Say that again. Rwanda, there's illegal immigrants the UK has, and they're going to ship them to Rwanda. Does that make sense to you? Um, this is the first I've heard about it. But at some point, I see an end to all the xenophobia. Um, you know, I love equatorial Africa. It's, it's really beautiful. Um, I see them trying, but I see some something in parliament i don't know quite the mechanics of how the british system works as far as parliament and all of that but i they're gonna try but i don't see it going through i see some something group is coming in was, and, yeah okay some kind of lawsuit or something legally put in place to stop them okay now ask me a question all right uh, how old are you <laughs> hell no <laughs> Okay. Uh, hello, Mel and Linda. Eric Hofda, a Republican businessman from California, is going against Tammy Baldwin's seat here in Wisconsin. Who will win this race? Tammy Baldwin. I see. I see a Democrat winning that, that seat. Did Tammy Baldwin step out? I'm sorry. Is she not running again? No, she's running. I think. Yeah, she's going to win. Right. Um, you know, Wisconsin used to be the most progressive state in the union, and I see it getting back to being progressive again. All right. Okay, so someone wants to know, what does Ivanka think of her dad? <laughs> so let me energetically tap into Ivanka. She's in worried Chicago. about him. She's worried about him. In Chicago, I can think of one word. Um, we say shkeev. It means, ugh. It means I think she's had it with his shenanigans. <laughs> well, she hasn't doesn't see him that much. It breaks his heart. She's not visiting him. She's not seeing him. She's thinking he's really losing his crackers. This is where we can agree to disagree. I don't think it breaks Trump's heart. I think it bruises his ego because he wants control of everything and everybody. Yeah, but he's always been in love with her. Well, yeah, but he's it's just pride and joy. But it's not like, well, never mind. Uh, I can't say what I'm thinking. Did he go to Barron's graduation, by the way? Yes. <laughs> I didn't think he'd show up. I was wrong about that. But no, he was there. He had to, to save face. Oh, yeah. I just I feel she, um, let me tell you guys, when he crosses, I think they will put him in the rotunda. And I know everybody's like, no, please. But there's, for some reason, they're still going to give him some sort of appropriate send off. You know, when you said that, I've been having visions of his remains lying in state. Yeah. In the Capitol Rotunda. And then I remote viewed to years in the future and a history book saying that should not have occurred because after that, um, you know, years after he was president, uh, it was determined that he should not have been president. Yeah, he was an illegitimate president. He committed Correct. crimes in office. He gave top intel to Russia. He was not a president. He was a traitor. Uh, but anyway, that title will be revoked from him in the history books. Right. But I've been seeing the, exactly that, you know, him in the Capitol Rotunda and a lot of people outside protesting. Wow. So, and, I'm, and, and that that feels soon. I've got cold chills going up and down my body. Ooh. So oh, you got another question? Uh, yes. Um, okay. Okay. Dearest Auntie Mel and Gorgeous Linda, Trump's doctor that wrote the letter in 2016, Dr. Born, uh, Dr. Bornstein, died on January 8th, 2021, two days after the insurrection. Nothing has been disclosed about his cause of death. What do your guides see? 
I don't think there was any foul play. There was any nothing untoward. It was natural causes. I think it was probably heart attack or stroke or something. Yeah. Okay. So Brian says gasoline prices are really going up now, well over the four per in places. I don't know what that means. My question is, how high will the price have to get before we see a vast drop in consumption? Well, what I see happening is Biden releasing uh, oil from our national reserves. He did. He and already He's going to do it again to bring the prices down. Um, but it's think, a, it's greed is what it is, you guys. It's greed. It's we are willing for more oil than any place else. We have plenty, and they're still greedy. It's price gouging by the oil companies. And, you know, I see legislation being passed at some point that to say that the price gouging has to stop. It's okay to raise prices according to inflation, but you can't price gouge. And I see that stopping at some point. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so let me look for one last question. Um, okay, Emmy. A woman from FEMA stated that all the spending that was done and the weather we are having, she said, they will be running out of money. Is this true? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. FEMA has got, you got, especially with these hurricanes coming, and some earthquakes. We got a good volcano. I don't know if it's in our country, but it, I can feel it. With this weather change coming, this climate change, it's going to be really, really, um, it's going to cost FEMA a lot of money. And plus, you know, what I'm seeing is that with all the health and insurance companies and things like that, they're going to start hurting. So um, maybe that would be incentive for us to pass legislation to help try to stop this runaway ch climate change. It's going to get worse. The, the the climate will worsen, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, it's Mother Nature readjusting. Mother Nature is saying, don't get too smart because I yeah. will. <laughs> well, thank you so much, my friend. It was wonderful being with you. All righty. So, um, oh, real quick. Uh, you want to tell them about our Chicago event? Oh, yeah, you go ahead. Well, we've got our Chicago event at the end of September, and uh, a Miss Linda Grindle is going to be there. Um, I'll be there. Kevin Chandler will be there. Uh, Psychic yeah. Arthur. Uh, Deanne will be there. Uh, Kevin Lewis will be there. Kim Psychic Copeland. Psychic Arthur. Uh, yes. And uh, Linda, I sent you uh, a video of what the downstairs looks like where we're going to be. It's pretty incredible. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. The facilities are gorgeous. The food is going to be delish. That's right. the only way they talk me into going. <laughs> so if you're interested, you can email me, uh, mel at meldor.com. I'm sorry. Yeah, mel at meldor.com. Um, or call my office, 847-590-541. <laughs> and you got two-thirds of the tickets sold. Uh, we do. Uh, we only have openings for around 19 or 20 more people. Well, yeah, that's right. So, okay, my friend. Thank you. Now send me that recipe as soon as we hang up. I will. And I'll see you at our live on Steam for prayers. What time? That's going to be at noon Pacific. Okay, so you'll send me the link. I'm going to send it right now. All right, you got it. Bye, you guys. Cheers.